Scott, we are tracking a uh, weather alert for tomorrow and for Thursday. Yeah, we are going to be seeing a front move in, stall out, and with it, the instability is going to be in place for the potential of strong to severe storms. So take a look at this a little bit more. So the enhanced risk of storms reaching severe limits is for Wednesday. Then it goes to a slight risk on Thursday. All severe weather threats are going to be possible for us. Timing is going to be late morning to afternoon on Wednesday. On Thursday, mainly in the afternoon hours, heavy rain can lead to flooding on both days. So we want you to be aware as you make your plans. Take a look at the first alert radar tonight. Here we are at 1019 and we are dealing with a quiet evening and a couple of storms did pop up on the dry line. One supercell storm well down to our south is continuing to push its way down to the southeast with quarter size hail for Coriel, Hamilton, Lampasas and Mills counties. But here in North Texas, we are remaining nice and quiet. So the first alert future cast shows that we have that cloud cover in place going into tomorrow morning. It's going to be another muggy morning for you, a humid day ahead. Late morning hours, we have the cold front moving in. Our Already seeing some development from near Monte County stretching back to near Graham. Going then to about the noon hour to one o'clock, we start to see that front slide its way down to the southeast, slows down and stalls right over North Texas. So by the time we go from about one to three o'clock, Showers strong to possibly severe storms developing all along the frontal boundary, sliding its way down to the southeast and then just stalling right over North Texas. So complex of storms possible south of 20 as we go to the 5 to 6 o'clock time frame. Then as we go into the evening hours, that continues to shift its way down to the south just a bit more, but also still some isolated storms possible into the late evening hours. A little bit of a lull overnight going into Wednesday into Thursday. Right now, this forecast model brings some more rain and storms to the southeast sides of North Texas by noon on Thursday. This is trying to pinpoint maybe a little bit of a break in some of the activity on Thursday afternoon, but still something we need to keep our eyes on. So the enhanced risk does include the Metroplex, a lot of North Texas for large hail, damaging winds, and then isolated tornado threat. It's that 5% chance of any of uh, the tornadoes developing uh, in, across parts of North Texas. Then into Thursday, that switches over to that slight risk of severe storms. We topped out at 90 today, so that's 20 days with our temperature above average for us. That's now the fifth warmest May on record to date. We're going to be adding on to that 60% coverage Wednesday and Thursday drops to 30% Friday. We're at 91. Saturday, 90 degrees by Sunday, 96. Could feel like the triple digits through the holiday weekend.